I have some very unfortunate news. I will not be competing in this year's Mr. Olympia due to a hamstring tear. Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got some devastating, horrible news for bodybuilding. It's about Nick Walker. No, he didn't die. He had a hamstring tear and uh, he is out of Mr. Olympia 2023. Very, very unfortunate news. I don't know how the hell did this happen. Was he lifting too heavy? Or was it just wear and tear and it finally snapped? Or maybe was it out of the gym? We don't know yet, but it happened one week before the Mr. Olympia. And again, this is really horrible news because this guy could have won the freaking show. Right after Nick announced that he is skipping the Mr. Olympia, that he's unable to compete, Matt Jansen posted a set of photos from one week out in which Nick Walker looks by far the best that we ever saw this freaking guy. I mean, he looks, to me, more conditioned than he looked at the Arnold Classic, just really much bigger and fuller and rounder. I mean, I haven't seen the other guys. Let's wait and see the other guys on the stage. But in my prediction, I had Nick in second. Now, looking at his photos, if I had these photos before I did a prediction video, I would say that he was gonna win. And I'm not saying this because he's not able to do the show and he and I think he's going to watch my video and I want him to feel good about himself. No, no, I'm saying this because I believe it. And you guys can tell me honestly, do you agree? I mean, look at his photos. First, let's take a look at all the photos and then you can tell me. So look at the most muscular right here. Again, guys, this is one week out. So here he is not completely full. He is not carved up. He could be totally flat here. And like, he is not dehydrated all the way. He could be drier. He could be full rounder and drier than he looks right here. Can you imagine that? I mean, I know his structure is not ideal, but I think it would be way too much of a freak factor to be ignored. Let's take a look at the backside. I mean, yeah, I guess Derek would beat him in this one because Derek's back is so good. And sure, he gets shredded, his glutes get lean, but... Would he have hamstrings like this? Would his arms and shoulders look this freaky and detailed? I mean, sure, Derek would probably be better in this pose, but it would be very close. And it wouldn't be close between him and the other two guys, Samson and Hadi. So, look at his back double bicep. It's crazy. It's phenomenal. Look at the axe taper. You want freak factor? Look at Nick Walker's front double bicep. Look at those freaking arms, man. And look at the waist size also, it's very very good, I don't think it was ever this narrow, or I don't think this illusion of a narrow waist was ever appearing this good on Nick's physique, I think he added some lat mass, and maybe he worked on, I don't know, like doing the vacuums and, I don't know, making his waist smaller somehow, legs, legs are definitely much bigger, I mean, look at that left leg especially, like, he never had this width in the legs from the front, the adductors as well, like, his legs are not behind, not in this pose, no, so he improved a ton, he was definitely much bigger, the conditioning was spot on, but whether I was right or wrong, we will never know, unfortunately, we will never find out, Nick Walker is out of the 2023 Mr. Olympia due to a hamstring tear and he was most certainly the best version of himself by far, by far, he destroyed his previous best and that's why this sucks so much, I mean if he was not really there, not really fighting for the win or like to be in the top 3 then I guess fine whatever but he looked so good and he says it in a video that he made on his Instagram that it was never better, the, the prep was really running smoothly, he had no issues, everything was clicking, the conditioning was crazy, everything was just so, so good, and one week out, this happens. 
I can't even imagine what Nick feels like. It must be really horrible. He also says in the video that he tried literally everything, that he did whatever it took. You guys probably know that Dorian Yates tore his tricep I think three weeks before the Mr. Olympia and he didn't train his upper body at all. He used medication to lower the inflammation and I think nobody noticed that he had a tricep tear on that stage. It wasn't a full tear. I mean, the tendon was still attached by a little and I don't know how bad Nick's tear is, but I'm guessing it's as bad as it can be because he pulled out. And I mean, maybe he could have somehow lowered inflammation and still stepped on that stage, but like as he says in the video, he wouldn't be top three. I mean, why? What is the point then? Once again, this happened one week before the Mr. Olympia. How the hell did it happen one week before the show? That's what I wonder. Was he training too heavy? I mean, we all know he trains with a super strict form, but maybe he put too much load on the bar. I mean, maybe he wasn't really doing a deal load in the last uh, two weeks, which is something bodybuilders usually do, because they are already built what they have built. Now it's not a time to challenge yourself and to grow, like you're not going to grow. It's about recovering, but still keeping some stimulants, because you don't want to do something drastic. But you also don't want to test yourself, push yourself over the limits in those final two weeks. Maybe this was just wear and tear and it finally snapped, like during a warm-up or like with a very light weight. That happens very often. Maybe it was just out of the gym, who the hell knows. But it happened and it sucks. We will not get to see Nick Walker on the Mr. Olympia stage. You guys tell me in the comment section what do you think, how do you feel about this? And also tell me, do you think Nick had a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia if things didn't go sideways? Alright, next up we got something a bit more positive and it's Regan Grimes who looks like he improved his conditioning quite a lot since the last time we saw him. I mean, I know many of us said that we're never gonna fall for Regan hype for Regan Instagram photos with filters and with edit. Yeah, I know, we said that, I said that, but, I mean, look at his photos, man, I mean, can you tell me that this is not an improved version of Regan Grimes? Can this all be filter and that's it? I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, this is just the front double bicep, yeah, I can see the shadow is, like, really good, but still, like, you can see that his skin looks thinner, you can see that he looks drier, definitely more crispy. Now, in the front double, you can't really see that, and this is probably his worst pose. Check this one. This one is good, but not that one, not this one, not this one, this one, this, this moment. Look at this. Look at the Christmas tree and the lats from behind. Check out the glutes as well. Like, they are drier. They're definitely more defined. And I think this is showing us that he is definitely in the best shape of his life. I mean, look at the lats. Look at the details. It's almost, it almost reminds me of Dorian Yates. I mean, it's definitely nowhere near that level of condition, but, you know, it's starting to, to look like that, kind of. Like, this is looking pretty grainy. And it's only Tuesday. Like, he, he has enough time to dehydrate even more and to carb up. So if the peak goes well at the Mr. Olympia stage, this guy is going to look nuts. I mean, with his shape, with his muscle bellies, with his structure and aesthetics, this much muscle, newly muscle, that he created in the past off-season and combined with his conditioning, it can be deadly. It can be dangerous. Like, it can potentially rival guys like Andrea Presti, maybe with Hunter Labrada. I wouldn't say Michal Crigio, but, you know, maybe he can be as high as 8, but I do have him in my top 10, and... After seeing these photos, I mean, I definitely am not changing that prediction. Look at this. Back. Glutes. Look at this. Glutes here. I mean, this is definitely the, the best Regan Grimes I ever saw. I mean, maybe it's going to be different on stage than it is right now in the gym. But, yeah, we all saw his old photos in the gym before the show. And we all know if he looks like this right now in the gym, he's definitely going to look much better on that stage than he did in his previous show. This right here was a very interesting shot. I don't know what is the name of this pose. He says in the caption, old school. It does look very old school. And the conditioning is really good. Like, I don't remember seeing Regan's glutes looking like this. 
So if he's that lean in that department, that means that he's overall just really shredded. And he doesn't seem smaller. Maybe he's a little bit flat right now once he carbs up like crazy, like a maniac. I mean, he is coached by Milos Sarcev after all. Once he does that and he dries out completely, it's gonna be a different story. It's gonna be a different physique. But personally, I think he would do really good if he showed up on that stage looking just like this. Because this is pretty phenomenal. What do you guys think? Finally, we got a physique update of uh, Chris Bumstead. Not really a physique update, he's just doing a vacuum. But he's kind of showing us a little bit more than usual. And you can see that this vacuum is solid. He's, he's holding it for 30 seconds, which is a long time. You can kind of see the, his conditioning, like uh, in his midsection area. Uh, you can see it maybe a little bit in the chest and overall, like, you, you can notice what kind of conditioning he's bringing. No, unfortunately, we don't have a proper physique update to Chris Bumstead. He doesn't want to do that. I don't know why, but yeah, we don't really get to see it until the stage time. But you can see some snippets of him, you know, training in the gym, maybe flexing a little here and there. And you can get a pretty good idea what he's bringing. And I think it's pretty much similar to what he brought last year. And if that is the case, that's gonna be enough for him to win this show, to win another 5th Classic Physique Mr. Olympia title. And in these videos, once again, he looks good. Like, he looks really good. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Make sure to let me know what you think about Nick Walker, and whether he could have won the Mr. Olympia, where would have he have placed, and how do you feel about him pulling out... Whatever is on your mind guys, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding videos and the best Mr. Olympia coverage on YouTube, guys, please subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.